So there are two ways to install Isotope plugins. The long way and the better way. The better way is, yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Isotope plugins in FL Studio on your computer in any DAW that you wanna use. So stay through to the end and you'll know exactly how to do this. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving eyes. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now, my question of the day is, which Isotope plugins do you have? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, there are two ways to install Isotope plugins, the long way and the better way. And I'm gonna show you the better way in this video, but we're gonna quickly brief over the long way, okay? So the first thing you need to do is go to isotope.com forward slash en forward slash account forward slash login and login, or you can click this face of a person or you know the shoulders and head of a person and it should take you over here so let's click on that and see if it does i don't know but here we can enter our email address so i'm gonna blur this out or i'm just gonna enter it out i'm gonna enter it in and take you to the next page instead of leaving this in so once you enter the email it will take you to the page to enter your password then you click continue okay now you can go to account overview and you can see all the plugins that you currently have and you can come down here and download product portal to install download this this is the fast way okay download this product portal i'm going to show you exactly how that works and install that as soon as you download it just follow the instructions but there is a long way yeah the long way <laughs> is to go to install and activate and oh and you can go to download installers and then here you'll get the installer specifically for that plugin and you'll be able to go through that but that is not the way you want to use if you've got more than one plugin from isotope download this portal this pro product portal because it's going to save you a bunch of time okay so let me show you how this works because i've got the product portal over here because i installed it a little bit earlier so let's open this up remember all you need to do is when it downloads open it up it will have a exe file and whatnot and then follow the instructions and that's very very easy let me quickly check if it came in a zip folder or not no it came up as a exe file so that's pretty easy we need to do is double click it and it will teach you how to install it so just follow the instructions install it on your base hard drive even if you've got like low memory you don't need to install it on an external hard drive it'll just make things a whole lot easier so once you load this up let's give it a little bit of time this is taking its time i'm going to show you how to install a plugin so i've already installed most of the plugins but i left one i left one so i could make this video okay so in order to install your plugin you'll have a big orange install button you want to click that that will start initiating the install you got to wait for this to get to a hundred percent and i'm going to show you how to find this plugin in fl studio after you've done this okay so make sure to stay through to see how to do that so we're going to wait for this to get to a hundred percent and i'll be right back so now we've hit a hundred percent it's going to load and it's going to bring up the installer now this is the same installer you would have seen if you just downloaded that installer that I showed you. If you just downloaded the installer file, the alternative way to install the plugin. But the other part of that is that it takes longer for you to authorize the plugin and make sure that you can use it because you need to enter your serial number and all that sort of stuff but when you use this the product portal you already log into your profile so you could just hit the authorize button and it automatically authorizes everything without you having to copy and paste your serial key and do all that sort of long stuff so right about now we're getting a notification i'm unsure if you can actually see this and it's asking do i want to allow this 
vinyl to make changes to my device i just clicked yes i hope you could see that maybe you could maybe you couldn't ah, i forgot to turn my light on so here we've got the setup wizard which will just follow through and i'll accept the agreement i'll go to next and then i'll move this to where i want my plugins to be you can leave this to where it is normally or you can move it to an external hard drive like i like to do because plugins tend to take up a bunch of memory if you don't you know manage this so we want to install this what's this just a vinyl we'll install the normal part actually i swear i've got an isotope folder so we'll just go with that let me quickly check nah so i'll allow it to just go to you know the normal folder that's where the program is going to be installed if you want to use this as a specific program but to install the actual VSTs, I'm gonna ha like move all of this to my VST folder. So this is for the 32-bit ones. So I've got my VSTs folder for that. And then for the 64-bit one, I've got my VST64 folder, which you should create the exact same things if you ever want to install things to your external hard drive. Then you just wanna click next and click next again. And this is just gonna unpack everything and install it. And because this is a free plugin, I won't have to authorize this. But if this was a paid plugin, then it would pop up and give me the option to actually authorize it. Now, we don't need it to install C++. So that's perfectly fine. We don't need updates. Let's click finish. Oh, it still allows us to authorize it. So in order to authorize it, it will give you two options it will give you the iLock option and it will give you the option to authorize this to your computer now if you're not using iLock which i don't suggest you use iLock if you can avoid it at any point in time avoid it okay <laughs> basically authorize it to your computer so just click activate and then you can go back to my products so you can see the rest of your stuff which isn't super important but what is important is to get this to work in our actual daw now i really really recommend you get ozone 9 that's like one of my favorite plugins like go to jcarray.com forward slash ozone 9 to grab that by the way if you're going to grab any isotope plugins then please go through jcarteray.com forward slash isotope plugins that will really really help me out and if you want to get isotope plugins and you live in the us and you want to be able to pay for it on a monthly basis instead of buying the whole thing outright go to jcarteray.com forward slash isotope plugins suite that's my code for sweet water and on that site you're able to basically pay month by month which is a very very great feature so let's go to our manage plugins you need to go to options top left and then go to manage plugins and then what we need to do is we need to scan so let's is that going to open up for us here we are so we just want to do a quick scan so we'll click find more plugins up here at the top and as you can see it's scanning our folders and now we have scanned and we found isotope vinyl so let's get that and we'll just get this vst3 version i guess yeah so all you need to do is click on this star over here and then that will make it so that when you actually search your effects for it it will actually show up so now i can go to my effects and i can find isotope vinyl and this will show up no problem like so that's how you install isotope plugins on your pc make sure that you use this quick method instead of the long method that i had been using for a very long time i'm unsure if this is a new thing that they've released this product portal but it is honestly amazing and it saves you a bunch of time so that you don't need to enter your serial number again and again and again and go through all that long stuff remember go to jcarteray.com forward slash isotope plugins to grab your isotope plugins and i'll leave the link down below to my sweetwater link that will get you to be able to pay monthly for these plugins because some of them are a bit pricey but they're all great and they're all worth it isotope is a great publisher a great creator of plugins and i cannot 
I cannot praise them anymore. Like, I really, I'm a big fan of Isotop, 100%. So that's that. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. And in the next video, you're going to learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.